first of all, we're happy, you know, with the win. I think it's important when you get to this point in the season and you're in postseason play in the regional, it's very, very important to try to stay in the, uh, the, the winner's bracket. And if, uh, if we could have drawn it up before the game um, and how we wanted it to play out with Scott doing what he did, us jumping out to a lead, I don't think we would have written it any differently. So very, very important for us to get the win. We still realize there's a lot of baseball left to play in this, but uh, proud, of, proud of the way we played today. I thought we played a solid baseball game and uh, you know, putting that one behind us and ready for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they were, they were throwing, throwing strikes early, getting ahead, and um, you know, we're, we're going up there not, not waiting for the pitcher's pitch. We're going to hit our pitch. And uh, he was keeping the ball elevated in his zone, and we went up there trying to hit the ball hard and make something happen. Scott, I guess just when you find out, find out that you were going to get the start tonight, just how did you, how did you feel about uh, just how you threw out there? Uh, well, I found out today actually is the final decision uh, Skip made. Uh, they told me early on in the week that they might start me depending on uh, who wins the first game and uh, matchup-wise, but actually found out today uh, final decision. And uh, I felt all right. Um, you know, haven't started in a while since high school, but uh, felt comfortable once I, got, once I got going with my fastball and established in the strike zone, so I felt all right. Kyle, on that last hit, you needed a double for the cycle. Did you think about trying to go for two there? No. <laughs> Didn't want to be. Don't. You don't want to be too selfish when you get in that situation. You know, you're just still going to be uh, pl playing team ball in Indiana baseball, so don't want to be selfish there at all. I guess back to Scott. You talked about using your fastball to establish the strike zone. How quickly did that come for you? It felt like you really settled in, maybe as the outing went on, and I know you only went through four innings, but how quickly, I guess, did that come for you tonight, being able to set up with your fastball and then come back with your secondary pitches? Yeah, I mean, after the first inning, I just kind of treated it like a relief appearance, um, pretty much the same way I've been doing it for the last two years. Uh, like you said, it took me a little bit to, you know, get established with that, but uh, once, I, once I got going, I felt pretty comfortable with uh, fastball and curveball uh, when, I got those, when I got those over for strikes and getting ahead and just, uh, you know, tried to, tried to use my stuff. I guess you talked about it going, you know, as much as well as you would have scripted it. How much of that, too, was being able to get Scott out after four innings, I think, under 60 pitches? I mean, do you see him, because of what you were able to do with him tonight, being able to get back potentially for Sunday? Yeah, that was the whole discussion, the, you know, after we jumped up on him in the bottom of the first. It was, okay, this is, this is, this is good. Uh, let's try to keep his pitch count down because we would like to have him available if we were fortunate enough to progress um, in this tournament. So I thought it worked perfectly with his, the, the way that it all played out. Obviously, it's the first time Corson Carr got some action in a while. Uh, what do you think of his performance, and do you see him as a weapon going forward? You know, it, and I thought that was a huge positive in tonight's game. I, I really did, because if, if you followed us at all last year, that kid kind of put us on the back at the end of the season and pitched us in the postseason play, and he's really struggled. Uh, no secret about that. And uh, he made some adjustments, dropped down a little bit, and uh, we'd worked on that the past week. And I was just glad that the scenario presented itself where we could get him in there and take a look at it because it's one thing to do it in practice. It's another to do it in a game. And uh, I, I thought that was, regardless of his scenario before tonight, that was pretty electric stuff. And so I'm happy, and we're going to try to build on that and make a positive because if we can get that guy back right, that's, that's a weapon. Tracy, I had asked Kyle the same question, but, you know, you, you talked about if you had drawn it out, maybe it wouldn't have played, couldn't have played out much better. But a key to that was getting three runs in the first with two out and then getting another run in the third with two out. Um, would you kind of just embellish on what he talked a little bit about? Well, first of all, great to see you. Long time, haven't seen you in a long time. Um, but yeah, and, I, and when that double fell in front, I think their guy broke back a little bit when that fell in there. Um, I thought that was, it kind of took the pressure off us and maybe threw a little bit of uh, pressure in that other dugout because if they get out of that, we had some base runners on, we were rattling a little bit, but um, I, I thought that was, uh, again, it was, it was, a perfect scenario for us because we jumped on them early. Um, 
and I was wanting to make them chase because I think what happens in games like this, when you look at, if people are looking at records, they're looking at your national seed, if you're playing a perceived or so-called underdog, um, the longer that game goes when it scores tied or we're chasing, the more pressure your team seems, uh, seems to put on itself. So I thought that was a, uh, that was, that was big to get going like that in the first. And I hope that. Uh, Tracy, you, you obviously had a chance to, to see Stanford. I know you're just getting off this game, but I mean, how do you approach it? Do you guys as a coaching staff, you stay up all night and, and look at them or how do you do it? And then what are your thoughts on, on, on them? The Stanford. Um, the only thing I'll be watching tonight are Netflix. I always say that stuff. Uh, the uh, you know we watched a little bit of the first game. They're a good team. Um, we're going to kind of take the same approach we've always taken is we're going to focus on what we do. I know that we've uh, they got a quality starter against us tomorrow, the left hander. Uh, that's tremendous numbers for them. They play in a you know very good baseball conference. They're battle tested. Um, you know, I, I just don't think there's a whole lot of scouting and things like that done at this point in the season. I think you, you try to see some tendencies, maybe just lay some eyes on your opponent just to, I don't know, knock the edge off a little bit. But we're not going to go back and scheme and game plan. And, and I'm serious, I'm going to go watch second season of West Wing. I really am. 